What's Bluebeard's deal? Like, why is he so angry all the time? Hmm. We have an hour and a half. I hope this is the right call. <laughs> She's asleep, you fucking idiot. You didn't even give me a chance to explain. What's left to explain? Yep. Guys, it's me, Bigby. Hey, look, Woody, it's the sheriff. Well, come on in, buddy. Friend, what? He's a traveler. A weary traveler in search of some hospitality, right? Right? I mean, you must not be feeling too good after that shit show. Yeah, I'll only be here two minutes. I just need to check through Lily's things. <laughs> Whatever. I want a drink. Anybody else want a drink? Friend, Swinehart said you shouldn't mix you it. You think I give a fuck what that fucking guy says? Or what you say? Friend, really, you shouldn't drink right now. I can't hear you when you mumble. Swinehart told me that Holly was here. I need to talk to her. Holly's asleep in back, but you won't be able to wake her. Really? The doc gave him both barmesidal ambrosia for the pain. Look, the deal is, if you resist going to sleep, like I am right now, it gives you a very, very, very nice high. Cool. And he said that he shouldn't mix it with alcohol. That, that's the log glasses. <laughs> that bet they're all for him. <laughs> yes, he did. He certainly did. But let me tell you something. I haven't felt this good in a long time, fat boy. I'm after Crane, all right? The guy we all hate. And there's a time limit here, so try and focus for a minute. Crane? We'll get to whatever you're here for in a sec. That funeral back there? That was a shitty fucking send-off for a pretty okay lady. Yeah. You weren't fucking there. I'm talking to Bigby now, okay? Can't say you being there helped things much. Gren, don't start nothing. Who's starting anything? You think I shot up the place? It wasn't my fault. They got away though, didn't they? Whatever. It's alright. I'm too out of it to get into it. I want to clear the air. We're all in this dung heap of a fucking shit town together. We're all gonna have a toast. All of us. Fellas, I'm here for one thing. Look through Lily's belongings and get out of here. Now, yeah, right? yeah, I know, I know. And I want to help you, okay? And I will. But first, indulge me. It'll take two seconds. As a show of good faith. And after, we'll all hunt and peck for Lily's shit or whatever. Friend, Bigby didn't come here to get loaded with you. I don't want to get loaded with him. To the dead. And the living. This better not be drugged. All right, now help me. Gren, the doc said you needed to rest. How many times you fucking gonna warn me about it, huh? You're not my fucking mother, so just get off my back! I said I was sorry, alright? I can't do anything about it, it's done! Uh, 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 
What more do you want? What else can I fucking say here? I don't want anything from you, Woody. Cut this shit out now. I don't care what it's about. Oh, I forgot. You haven't heard the news. This walking lard cake was paying Holly's sister to let him fuck her behind all of our backs. And Holly had to find out going through all of her sister's shit. What fun that must have been. Trick after trick of this fat ass and Lily. I didn't plan for that, all right? And our thing, whatever it was, it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't. I never fucked her when she was snowing. I didn't know nothing about that. No, but you knew Holly would flip out. And you knew for a damn good fucking reason. You know what? Fuck this. I don't need this shit. Oh yeah, that's it. Now you're teary-eyed. You were always such a lowlife. I don't know why I never realized it till now. What do you think about this fucking loser, Sheriff? He can think whatever he wants. I don't give a shit. No, that's okay, because I'll tell you what he thinks. He thinks you have to pay chicks to touch your fat, hairy ass. That's what he thinks. I think whatever happened was between them, and Lily is dead. So let's put this whole thing to rest, Gray. Hopefully he will help me in episode five. <laughs> I don't know where Lily's shit is. <sighs> Check Holly's room, I don't know. But I wouldn't wake her if I were you. Sleepwalkers and trolls. I think that's the role. Maybe, uh, ogres, too. Okay. What a day. Am I right, Sheriff? What a fucking day. <laughs> Gren won't remember this. Yeah, I believe you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, just gotta be very careful. Crit of alcohol shouldn't have anything there. The cot, okay. Let's look at the cot. I don't want to fucking wake her. She, if I wake her, she's gonna fucking kill me. Oh. 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 Nice. I don't know how you couldn't have got that otherwise, though. But still. Cause like you could have slid it aside. That works. <laughs> Please go Did back to sleep. care about her at all. She was a nice girl. Ran around too much. Of course I cared. I still care. I hope so. I hope you do. Okay, address book. Probably the best shot I have. Lily's funeral. It was just so fucked tonight. But I still wish you could have been there. I just don't know what Bigby's doing. If he, if he cares about it. If he even gives a shit. I don't know. I don't know why he showed up. 
I just wish he'd get out of my fucking life. He's just... he's trying to do what's right. You think so? Yeah. Well, you know him better than anybody, so... Uh, I guess I'll take your word for it. No, don't wake up, don't wake up, don't wake up, don't wake up. If you were getting your glamour on this day, then one of these has to be the witch. But, which one? Hello, this is Snow White calling. I'm looking for Bigby. Is anyone there? Bigby, if you're there, pick up, okay? Snow? Hey, I just wanted to see how it was going. Did you find anything? Just an address book with her contacts initials. Not sure which one is the witch, though. Strange. These people keep cropping up. Before, a few days ago, I thought I knew everyone in Fable Town. Any ideas? You should try going up to Crane's place. I sent Buffkin up there to check on things. Bluebeard, you know. Or you could try at the Tweedle's office. Just make it quick. Oh, we don't have God. Time. Meeting is at two. Oh, God damn. Bluebeard's only looking D and I'll head over to Tweedledee's place. See what I can find there. Sounds good. Just keep me posted. In the meantime, I'll see what I can do on this end. Okay. Good luck, Bigby. We'll find him, Snow. I hope you're right. I better find something here. What time is it? <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, hi. Sheriff Bigby. Great, great to see you. I don't know if you remember me. I've, uh, seen you around, but you may have forgotten. I know who you are, Flycatcher. You've worked at the Woodlands for how many years now? <laughs> I think I've lost count. But you know, Crane, uh, let me go recently. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I mean, it's no big deal. So, what brings you here? I mean, can I help you with anything? Are you here to see one of the brothers? D or dumb? You seen Crane around? Not around here. I saw him leave the woodlands earlier, but I'm not supposed to bother him. I don't really think he likes me. It's been uh, a quiet night so far. I think the twins are out, probably working on a case. Sometimes I don't see them for days. They gave me the job after Crane told me to get lost. He said I was just in the way. But I like it here. Gotta stay busy, you know? Where's their office? Oh, right this way. I, I was going there next anyway. I can let you in if you want. You can wait for them there. Sure. Thanks. No problem. That's very handy. Thank you. Hope you have a good night. I'm gonna have to take a look around. Uh... Well, I, I guess that would be okay. I wasn't really asking for permission. Right. You're the sheriff. I just don't want to get in trouble or anything. I'm sure it's fine. I mean, they never told me not to let you in. Don't worry. I won't get you in trouble, right? Right. Apart from the cigarette blade is left on the floor. Okay, let's see. Dear Brother D, I think we should get ourselves a dog. Sincerely, Brother Dunn. He actually mailed this? They do have their quirks. <sighs> this is pointless. Not yet, it ain't. Dear Brother Dunn, I hate dogs and you know it. Sincerely, Brother D. Couple of freaks. <sighs> I, I know these guys can come off abrasive at times but they aren't so bad once you get to know them they're insane they really care about helping people no 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 they're kind of loud at times but you get used to it how do you mean they help people they're detectives anyone can come in here with a problem and they'll do their best to fix it the way d explains it it's like if someone lost their cat 
well, they could hire them to, you know, track it down. Or like sometimes they get packages for people. They can be like couriers, you know? Or who? All kinds. Come to think of it, I don't really know where they keep them. Anyways, I'm just saying, you, you just don't know them like I do. Mm. Sure, flycatcher. Mm. Yeah, sure, sure. Okay, well, there's some lollipops, don't touch. Cool. Cigar box. You know about this? Uh, no. That'd be handy. I'm gonna talk to him, see if he knows. I'm sure else. you have your reasons, but it's just they, they've done so much for me. I'm sure they have, yeah. Okay. Let's see if they've got a file on a crane. Oh, they do. Cinderella. Donkey skin. Beauty. That's worrying. Ichabod Crane. He owes the crooked man money. Shit. How was he planning to pay this all back? Request for property acquisition. Further details filed under donkey skin. Crane hired them to look for a photo? Why did he want it back so badly? I don't know, but let's find out. So that's why they were at her apartment. And the woodsman's place. Hmm. See, I knew you wouldn't find anything. Anything of interest, anyways. They're, they're detectives, like I said. Just just trying to make an honest living. I'm finding enough. I'm just saying. Look, just trust me on this. Tweedledee and Dumb are not nice. They're not helping anyone. Well, they helped me. Okay, great, they helped you. That's one person. Now, please, just let me concentrate here. Okay, what's with Cinderella? Somewhere in Europe, okay. Who's Brannigan? I know a Zap Brannigan. <laughs> Bet it's not that one. Detective Brannigan? Keep an eye on her. Beauty? Keep an eye on Beauty, maybe? What is it? Did Beauty tell them about all this? This is worse than I thought. That's a lot of money. Shit. Find anything? Not what I need. What, what, if, what if you're wrong about them? I'm not. No. You're misunderstood, sure, but that doesn't mean <laughs> everything people say about them is true. I mean, you know, like when I think about it, you guys aren't that different. You help people, and they help people. Not that it's any of my business, but I just wanted to say, you know, give them a chance. Is that what you think? Bigby? Shit. There's something here. I know there is. There has to be. Why would there be anything because to... Because they're lying to you, okay, Flycatcher? That's why. They aren't detectives. They're somehow involved in the murders, Flycatcher. Two fables are dead. Bigby, what happened to your... You want to know what this is? This is them showing up to Lily's funeral with fucking shotguns! I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I, 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 I didn't know. And it doesn't matter if they're really good at hiding their shit, but they're involved all right in all of this. Do you get it now? I didn't mean to. There's a door behind this file cabinet. I don't know what they keep back here, but it might be what you're looking for. Well, that key you found should work. Thank you. Thank you very much. You didn't have to do that. I'm just waiting for him to lock the door behind me. Um. <laughs> Ooh. 
Wow. Yeah, this will do it. Package, let's find out. Hold for BCW. Hmm. What are you looking for exactly? Maybe I can help. Anything about Crane. Or the witch he was using. Something. Hmm. J-R. D. Oh, D. It's D. A book. This doesn't really tell us much. Butcher. What is this stuff? ASAP. Crooked man. I'm sorry. I know I'm late. I'll get it to you soon. Think about Crane. Who was he sending money to? Crooked man. Care of the lucky pawn. You know what that is? Sure, why not? It might be helpful at some point. It's Crane's money as well. Is that what you needed? I don't think so, but it's interesting. There's more going on here. I still need to find that witch, though. Hey, Bigby. Do you think... After all this, do you think I could come back to the woodlands? Since Crane let me go, I mean, I can still work here, but I don't think I want to now. Well, Crane is gone now. I, I can't see why he couldn't come back to the woodlands. Really? That would be... thank you. Come by the business office. I can't make any promises. Right, of course. Snow's hair. Snow's hair. Yeah. Snow White? Why w we found her hair like this inside Lily's glamour? Auntie Greenleaf. This must be the witch Crane was using. I guess D and Dumb were getting the hair for Crane and sending it to her. That's not a pleasant thought. Auntie Greenleaf. Hey, G. Hey, G. This is it. I have to tell Snow. This is the place. There, there's a phone right over there. Thanks, Fly. Business office? I know who she is. Yes! Finally! We have something good. It's about time. It's all gonna go down, isn't it? I'm assuming this is the climax of the, uh, of the episode. If so, actually, it's been a pretty short episode.